So today's question asks, are lines or phrases from movies copyright protected? And that comes from Jeff K on YouTube. So thanks for watching Start Starting Up, real passive income tips for financial freedom. And lines from movies or quotes, are they copyright protected? Can you go ahead and use them on your t-shirts or any other products you're making? So first off, disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer. You know what, my advice isn't final. You should always research stuff yourself. Um, and if you are unsure about anything, it's best to be on the side of caution and not do it rather than do it. But I'll give you my understanding now so you can make more educated decisions in the future. But like I said, if you're ever not sure, I will speak to a legal professional to give you exact clarification if you're a specific case or don't do it at all. But lines from movies. I did a bit of research into this and I found that typically lines from movies are not copyright. Now this isn't the case with all lines, some lines can be copyright protected, but typically they're not. The reason being is for something of it to be copyrighted, it needs to be proven that it is an original piece of work. That, that sentence, those words, the design, that creation has never been used before. And the thing with movie lines is, they are just construction of language. Um, and sentences typically spoken in movies are not that original. You know, they are using human language that everyone else uses. There's no uh, a real originality there. Now, this isn't always the case. Um, you know, you could be using character names or names of like planets or other worlds in movies that have never appeared before, if they're included in the sentence, it's pretty likely it's copyright protected. But just using generic sentences and generic language, it's very likely that sentences from movies aren't copyright. Uh, the only exception for this is if the maybe the sentence or the phrase you're using is, is really long, you know, and really con long and constructed, then it can be proven that it's from taken from a movie because those words probably never appeared in that order together before because you've taken like, a huge line from a movie. But if it's just like phrases or um, short sentences, the movie studio is going to have a harder time sort of protecting that under copyright law. Because like I said, copyright protects originality and original creative work. Um, but what writers usually do with movies is they use like sentences and phrases that people would naturally use in everyday life because they want to give a realistic story. Uh, so this being the case, the character speaking like normal, real sentences and real words means that it's likely that what they're saying isn't copyright protected. Now, moving away from copyright protection, trademark protection may be a completely different thing. If, for instance, you know, the sentence, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn, if that's not protected by copyright law, the film studio may have actually filed to have that sentence protected by trademark law. So they've gone to the trademark office and they said, we want to be able to use, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn, on merchandise, on t-shirts, on bags, on stationery, on posters. And they may have filed for trademark ownership of that sentence on all of those different products. If that's the case, then you definitely can't use those sentences on your items. So you can assume that lines spoken in movies are not copyright protected, but you should always be checking with the trademark office to see if it has been filed as a legal trademark and it is trademark protected. Because if that's the case, you definitely can't use them. So just make sure you're checking trademarks. You know, you can't really check copyright for sentences, but always check the trademark office to see if the line you're thinking of using on your items is or isn't protected by law. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my daily question and answer series. If you've got a question for me that you're answering, feel free to message me in the comments box below on startstartingup.com or on my Instagram, send me a DM and I will try and answer your questions there. This channel is all about sharing tips of selling online, so make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and also like and share this video. See ya.